just got to the concert, y'all. We just got in. And we are running because I think Lorilla is, is performing now. So, y'all, I just purchased two new cars. And I'm going to give you guys a tour. And my honest review of them, just because one of them is, like, a really, a really popular truck. Hey y'all, and welcome to my channel. It's been a long time since I recorded my last video and your girl been busy. Um, that's really what I could say is I just been busy. But um, I feel like I'm very caught up in life to the point to where I want to start back filming. Um, so this will be my very first video and y'all I gotta catch y'all up on a lot of stuff um, So um, right now I'm about to get ready and go to a concert with my daughter of course So if you follow me on Instagram or TikTok, you know my daughter drags me to every freaking concert of the artists that she loves I'm getting ready to go to Meg and Glorilla's Hot Girl Summer Tour um, so right now I'm about to do my makeup and then once I get done getting ready, I'm going to show you guys my two new purchases of the year. So y'all, I just purchased two new cars and I'm going to give you guys a tour and my honest review of them just because one of them is like a really, a really popular truck. Um, and I think of it as a mom truck. So I'm going to give y'all my honest review and I'm also going to give you a tour of them. But um, yeah, I just wanna give y'all an update while I do my makeup um, on my life. What's been going on since my last video? <laughs> okay, so yeah, let's get into it. Oh, my ears start ringing. <clears throat> so yeah, I'm about to try to rush and do my makeup. Um, it should take me about 20, 30 minutes. I'm gonna try to put it on the 30 minute side because I don't want to rush. Um, right now it is 633 and we do not live in the city so um, I want to try to make it to the concert on time just so we don't miss um, anything. We don't miss Glorilla and anything because I think she's going to perform first and so that's what Jamiria really wants to see so I need to hurry up. So we need to leave here by at least 7.20. So between 6.30 and 7.20, I'm gonna do my makeup, put on my clothes, and give you guys a tour of my two new cars. And let's see if we can get that done between the time. Uh, Cause I don't want my baby mad at me. So yeah, um, just to give you guys an update, my last video, I gave you guys a tour of my suite that I had got. Um, that it was like a year ago i want to say i had got a suite um it was a really cute office i got it done yeah i went in it in that office a good four or five months and i had spent a lot of money like um getting it like designed really pretty just because um the vision i had for it i wanted to do like um content in there where i make my videos for my business um and stuff like that and it didn't go exactly as planned. Um, my business has grown drastically since then um, to the point to where when I was working um, at that suite, I only had one assistant at the time. But God said, baby, drink beat. That's what he told me. So um, I ended up finding me a building. And... I am gonna show you guys the building because it took me about five to six months to actually furnish the building. Well, not furnish it because I remodeled it and I furnished it um, all on my own. Well, not on my own, but I'll get deep into that. Um, but I furnished it. When I say on my own, I mean like, I didn't get somebody to help me with designing the building. Let me say that. I picked everything out on my own. And so everything is there, it's finished now. And since then, um, I have about three to four employees. Um, and so I gotta show y'all that building, like it's so pretty. 
I'm so happy about it. Um, I took my time with it. I didn't rush. And I feel like I'm going to be there for a couple of years. So my next video is, of course, is going to be you guys getting a tour of it because it's so pretty. Um, but yeah, since then, my business has grown drastically. Um, since then, I purchased three cars since then. So I had got a Range Rover for my birthday. And then... Um, I turned around, I really didn't like it. Well, I liked it, but I didn't love it. See, when I want something, I gotta love the vehicle. Um, and I just didn't, mm, I didn't love it. I mean, it's a really cute car. And uh, honestly speaking, I buy cars for how they look. I'm not the type of girl that buy cars for any other reason. So I don't buy cars for if they're fast or what type of, I don't know. I just buy cars for like mainly the inside. I don't know, I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. The inside just has to be really up to date. But I don't know, that's just me, that's just me. I had two cars, so I had the Range Rover and I had um, a Mercedes Benz. And it was A220. So I had those two cars, those were my two cars for a couple of months. And then um, I changed my mind. Mother's Day was coming up, and I'm like, okay, I'm always gonna find me a way to, to spend some money. I like one thing about me. I like to have reasons to spend a certain amount of money, and I'm like, I have to tell myself I'm so delusional. <laughs> I have to tell myself, well, it's Mother's Day. I want to give myself something for Mother's Day. I just want to get an upgrade. So I wanted to initially just upgrade my bins and keep my Range Rover. So that was the initial plan, right? So I upgraded the bins, of course, and I got the GLE um, 53 AMG truck. Of course, I upgraded it. So makes sense for me to have two SUVs. So I'm like, okay, so I really don't love the Range Rover that much. Um, let me see what else do I like. Um, and then a friend of mine that I met out here since I've been living in Atlanta, um, she drives a BMW. And I'm telling you, I've never been a BMW girl. I'm a Benz girl. But when um, she comes and picks me up sometimes, I'm not going to lie, BMW? I was like, this is really nice. It's, it really gives luxury. It screams luxury. It gives a different experience. So I'm like, okay. Let me see what BMW has. So I searched online and I looked at them. I don't know BMW World. I don't know the different series or what's the most popular car with BMW. I really just got for something that's a sedan for one. And then something that's just in the inside, the interior is what gets me. And so that's when I stumbled upon the BMW 3 Series 330i. Don't quote me if I'm wrong. But that's the, I know that's the model that I have and the inside of it is chef's kiss. I'm talking about, it's so pretty. It has the big wide screen, y'all. I gotta show y'all, I gotta show y'all. It is so pretty and um, I fell in love with it. And so I ended up test driving it and with that one, I fell in love and I'm like, okay, yes, this is the one I want. So I ended up trading the Range Rover and I know y'all like, okay, you trade in a Range Rover for a BMW, but I know that's just me. That's just me and what I want. Um, it's not anybody else is gonna drive or anything like that. These are my cars. So yeah, I traded my Range Rover in for the BMW. Um, and y'all, I'm so happy like with my both of my purchases. And I purchased it, purchased both of them within days of each other. Um, and I'm so happy and those are gonna be my cars for a while. Look at me for a while. Y'all know y'all like this girl. When I posted on social media, people was like, girl, we can't keep up with you. And I'm like, I can't keep up with myself sometimes, to tell y'all the truth, honestly speaking. And so, um, yeah, those are gonna be my cars. I honestly feel like I'm gonna keep, I don't have any other cars. The only other car I would wanna have is a G-Wagon. And I feel like um, I'll get at that point 
someday that I'll buy, I'll purchase that as a car. But I don't think I'll purchase it as me buying one. I probably would more than likely lease one, but I'm not there yet. And when I say I'm not there yet, um, I don't think, I think it's like a lifestyle type of thing. Um, I feel like I have to be, I wanna be more further down established in life before I drive a certain type of car. Um, and I like things to kind of fit my lifestyle because I don't want people to see me and try to rock me. <laughs> like, I be scared even in a GLE 53 because everybody is like very popular. A lot of people stare and things like that. And so I want to feel comfortable. Um, so I don't know. But I feel like on down the line, I will end up purchasing the G-Wagon, but that's like the only other car I would ever get if I was to eventually get a new car. Um, I don't know if you guys just started following me or been keeping up with me, but I got a new house and I feel like eventually I'll show y'all my house. Probably not the entire thing because this thing is huge. My house is huge. But I feel like I'm gonna go like from room to room because I've been, I came here with scratch with nothing really. We just came here with basic things because I bought everything brand new. Um, but yeah, I got a new house. Um, we got five bedrooms, six full baths, um, a full finished basement. Like, it's humongous. Um, yes, yeah, so I got a new house. I feel like I will show you guys eventually. Um, let me see. I need to hurry up. Y'all took a minute on these brows. What the? Wait, I'm finna hurry up. So, here's your Miriam. So yeah, I'm about to do the rest in the time lapse, y'all. Um, just because I wanna rush, y'all see she's coming in, like what am I doing? So, let me go and rush. Part, do y'all believe in putting makeup on your side if your hair is gonna cover it? I'd be like, okay, so what's the point of putting makeup right there if the makeup's gonna cover it? But I'd be thinking like, so what if my hair like moves back? Like, oh, it's no makeup there. <laughs> I don't know what y'all think. <laughs> So the makeup is beat. Um, get into it, get into it. And I curled my hair off camera just because I'm rushing. So it is currently, let's see what time it is. <laughs> yeah, it's currently 7.14, so I thought I was gonna leave her at 7.20. So I lied to Jamie and she been in her again. So um, I got my outfit on and I'm barely in it. So let me show y'all what I'm putting on. So, I got on this jumpsuit. So I got on this jumpsuit from Zara, and it's super, super cute. Um, so I'm paired with these sandals. These are really cute. 
Um, it kind of goes with it. So I'm gonna pair it with these. <clears throat> and then for the earrings, I'm gonna go with <clears throat> from Louis Vuitton, of course. <clears throat> and I'm gonna do some big hoops because this jumpsuit is giving hoops. For my necklace, I'm gonna do my um <laughs> look at Jameer. So I'm doing this necklace. It got all three of my kids on here. So I'm gonna pair it with that necklace. Um this gonna be cute. Okay, so it's cute. Everything is coming together. I fix my hair. I think it's coming together. And so for Bangles. Um, I got this little baton bracelet here. And then I'm gonna pair it with another little baton bracelet. Um, it's like a charm type bracelet. I'm gonna pair it with that. Can you help me? Everything has came together. What y'all think? Is this cute? Is this the look? Okay, so y'all might take some pictures and I'm looking real cute. But I don't know, do I look like a hot girl or am I looking like a mom? What is it giving? I think it's giving mom. I think the hoops may give mom. I don't know. But I mean this one. Jamir, is my outfit giving mom or is it giving hot girl? Hot girl. It's giving my girl. Oh, sure. <laughs> I thought it was giving mom. It's giving nineties. It's giving nineties hot girl. Yeah. Uh, Let's see, Jamie, what you got on? What you got on? Tell the people what you got on. Yeah, I got a Balenciaga shirt on. Uh huh. Okay, right here. These from H and M. Them for H and M. Okay. Balenciaga. Turn around. Balenciaga. Let's see the back. When you here. Let's see y'all on the bed. Okay, let's do a spin. Jamiria, miss put that stuff on. Me and Jamiria. Hot girl summer tour, even though we ain't no hot girls. We some hot girls. <laughs> so y'all gonna show my cars and give y'all a tour of my honest review. And then we're about to head to the concert. You excited? I'm sleepy though. Uh, where you been getting unsleepy? That's not possible. You took it up and I didn't take it up. You took it up. Girl, you should, you should okay. Yeah, so let's go to see the cars. Okay. Okay. So this is my AMG Mercedes GLE VP3. Um, I got the AMG sign here. Um, love the rims. Love the rims. Love the rims. They're so cute. Um, it's really just the style of it. And everything. <laughs> so let me give y'all a view of it on the inside. Okay. Of course, it got the ambient lighting. Your AMG on the mat. Um, AMG on the seats. The moon roof. So, this is my favorite. Um, I just like how it looks on the inside. Ambient lighting all through. The day is really sleek. Everything is up to date. Just how I love it. Um, and yeah, it's so pretty. And what I love most about it is, um, if we go to Comfort, I can get us massage while I'm in my car. Y'all can't tell me that's not tea. Like, boom. Me and the passenger can get a massage. So if I press play, and it's gonna happen while I'm driving, and my seats are massaging me right now. So that is like my favorite feature on it. Um, of course, it still looks, everything kind of really just the same this is like really the major big difference in this uh truck besides my two to a220 um it's just that this one does the um uh, 
the massage while you're in a car um i'm used to everything else as far as the ambient lighting um this was like this in my last car um it's just more spacious in this car that's what i really love about it i have no negative review about it um it's actually really big really spacious than for me going from a sedan to a truck um let y'all let me show y'all the back of it so in the back um we have the ambient lighting in the back also um the seats everything looks really good everything is just spacious for me and my kids um i like i said it's a mom truck <laughs> but i love it so much and the roof the sunroof comes all the way back here and then since this is a coupe the back is like slanted so let me show y'all the back of the trunk my um my um bmw keep going off every time i come towards it so let me see so i have to kick my foot to just open it and then it pops open so i don't have to touch it that's another thing i love and then since it's a coupe um in the back it's just this is how it looks it's like slanted but it's very spacious back here. It's plenty of room to put things back here. Um, so I thought that since it being a coupe, I wasn't gonna have a lot of trunk space, but it does have a lot of trunk space. Okay. So that is my AMG GLE 53 coupe. And this is my baby. I will keep her for a while. <laughs> this is my baby. Okay. So now let's do my BMW. She's a cutie. Um, I like to ride her to work, y'all. Um, let me see. Let me show y'all the front. So she is so cute. Her rims, I mean not her rims, but her windows are not tinted right now because I really like the look that it gives right now. But it just gives luxury, everything about it. Um, it's literally keyless to where if I'm just walking up to the car, it just unlocks on its own. So I don't have to find my keys. And then when I walk away from the car, it locks on its own. So when I get in, y'all, this is how I'm welcomed to a BMW. This is how I'm welcomed. Like, movie. <laughs> oh my goodness. I love it so bad. So this is how it looks. This is the push button here. I gotta put my feet on. So this is how it looks. Um, I love this part just because when the GPS is on, y'all know how Apple Play is over here. It shows you on this screen, but instead it'll give me the exact directions here. So I don't have to look over here to get the directions. It shows me step by step where I'm going right here. And everything right here just looks, um, just good like a sports car but i don't i don't know it's like i like driving this car to work it gives work and i also like the fact that you can zoom in the car and you can be on teams and things like that like it's a lot of stuff in here um that i like about it in the screen going all the way across it's like chef kiss i love it so bad like it's so pretty um, and it does have the ambient lighting also throughout the car. It doesn't have as much as the bins, but it does give you the ambient lighting here and in the back. And then the seats is another thing that I like about it. Um, I did like the kind of white bright seats. And so this is the closest that I could get to um, in the BMW just because it gives you that luxury look. Um, and so yeah i love my bmw it gives the ambient lighting here too um let me show y'all how the back look it's very spacious too and y'all see that you see the ambient light in there i got that on in the back too um and then i like how the people in the back can get their own cords for charging and can control the air and it's really digital and i like it it's pretty um and it's really spacious back here it's really cute everything is clean I'm the first owner of this car, it's brand new. Um, and I think I'm gonna have this car for a long time. I think I'm gonna get this car to Jamiria when she turns 16, I don't know. But overall, I love both of my new cars. They are so cute. And it just gives what it need to give. Like, come on now. CEO, Big Charnel, 
from Memphis, Tennessee, North Memphis. Like it just it just warms my heart. Only if y'all knew. Only if y'all knew. Like only if y'all knew. And the people didn't know. Like if you know, you know. That's how I feel about it. If you know, you know. Um, and I'm just so happy about my two new purchases. And yeah, that's my tour. So it is now 7:46, and we are officially late for the concert. <laughs> the concert started at 8. So y'all let me get out of here and let me head to the concert. So we just got to the concert, y'all. We just got in and we we're running because I think Lorilla is, is performing now. Yeah. So we in 105, y'all. Come on, Jay. <laughs> So, I just made it home from the concert. You had fun? Yeah. What did you write it again? What did you write? An eight. An eight. Cause I ain't no midget, so but I, Glorilla. <laughs> I rated a seven out of 10, just because, y'all, I'm not a super mid or Glorilla fan, like I said. Um, I do like their music, don't get me wrong, but, I don't know. I just get dragged along. I just get dragged along to these concerts, that's it. So my daughter said she had a good time, so that's all that matters. Um, so y'all, I'm closing out this vlog. Y'all, I am sleepy and I have work in the morning. <laughs> um, but I promise you guys that I will be making more videos, more content, just sharing my personal life and all business like I planned. Uh, so make sure you subscribe and make sure you stay tuned for more videos to come. Good night.